Let loose the lasers. After some fairly rapid development, both South Korea and Ukraine recently announced their militaries were deploying lasers to active duty units. Let's start with South Korea, where a system called Chongwang, or Skylight in Korean, is now deployed with frontline units in Seoul. Made by Hanwha, the Skylight went into mass production in July of 2024. For less than a buck fifty, or about 2,000 won, the 20 kilowatt laser energy weapon system is designed to take down smaller drones and is effective to a range of around two to three kilometers, or a little less than two miles. South Korea's Ministry of Defense says the Skylight achieved 100% effectiveness during testing, but the system does have limitations. For right now, it's a fixed in place system. It can't take down ICBMs and is not designed to counter a drone swarm. But future iterations of the Skylight will include a stronger laser mounted to a truck. So potentially targets like ICBMs and aircraft could be taken down for a few dollars per shot. In Ukraine, though, the military claims to already have this capability. Colonel Vadim Sukarevsky is the commander of the country's unmanned systems forces. He recently told a group of reporters at a defense conference, Ukraine is already deploying its Trizub laser system. The Trizub, or Trident, can reportedly take down small aircraft at distances greater than two kilometers or about one and one quarter mile. Side note, it would be great if the whole world could just agree on one system of measurement. It would make my job explaining all of this stuff just so much easier. So 12 inches to a foot? Uh, 12 feet to a yard. If it were only so simple. <laughs> Three feet to a yard. And uh, how many yards to a mile? Nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, the assertion by Ukraine's unmanned systems forces commander is notable, not just because the laser touting club of countries is still fairly small, around half a dozen, depending on whether you believe all of the claims, but Ukraine's claim is notable because the country just formed its unmanned systems forces six months ago. Ukraine was likely able to make swift headway in the laser weapons arena because it based its design on, quote, UK prototypes, which probably means the 50 kilowatt Dragonfire laser. Dragonfire downed its first drone in early 2024. Israel's Iron Beam, made by Rafale, is another laser weapon in active development. Rafale successfully tested the Iron Beam numerous times, and Israel is expected to field it sometime in 2025. Rafale also partnered with Lockheed Martin in the U.S. to deploy the Iron Beam on a variety of vehicles. The Iron Beam uses a 100 kilowatt laser, which is five times more powerful than what South Korea is deploying. China says it has a counter drone laser called the Silent Hunter. Russia says it has a laser that can blind a satellite, but Moscow doesn't have much in the way of counter drone laser systems yet. In 2023, I was at the Navy League's Sea Air Space Expo talking to a Marine Corps officer about laser weapons. And at the time, he said in the field, it's almost like you need three systems to have one operational laser environmental factors like dust and just the wear and tear of forward deployment can wreak havoc on the laser's sensitive components. But the wars in Ukraine and air defense battles waged in the Red Sea are proving just how necessary directed energy weapons are in modern warfare. So the fact countries are now moving from the R&D stage to the deployment stage shows just how quickly solutions can be found to complicated problems with the right motivating factors and enough money. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson. For more of our unbiased straight fact reporting, be sure to download the Straight Arrow News app today or log on to san.com.